Hi there, crafty friends. Welcome and thank you for joining me. My name is Melissa. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Southern California. And today we will be making two cards using the Beautiful Balloons Suite. Now, you don't have to purchase these as a suite. You can purchase them individually if you only want the dies or if you only want the stamp set. But we are going to be using both items today, both products. And in the die set, you get all these fantastic dies, but we will be using this larger single balloon die. And then I've done my sentiments, and I think it's time for a celebration. Now, you've also got happy birthday on here, and let's get our celebration on. So thrilled for you. You did it. Yay, you. So this does not have to be just a birthday card. This can be a graduation card. This can be any type of a card, you know, a happy for you. You just bought a new house. You got a new job. It could be for anything. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to be making our own stencils. So we've got our die here. I am going to bring in my mini cut and emboss machine. And I've already got five done. We need six for our rainbow. So I'm just going to show you what I did. I'm just taking the die. My paper here is three inches wide and I'm just going to try to center that on there as much as I can. So I have the same amount of space on each side. And what that's going to do is that's going to help me to not ink blend where I don't want it. I'm going to just try to ink blend the uh, balloon, but sometimes you do go a little farther than you have anticipated. So we've got that all cut out. And there is our stencil. You can make your own stencils with pretty much any die if it's a shaped die like this. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we're gonna do is we will bring in a piece of scrap paper. I've got one right here. And then my panels. My panels are cut to four by five and a quarter. And so for our first one, we are going to do this panel first and use our stencils. I have bubble gum, oh, I'm sorry, bubble bath, pumpkin pie, lemon lolly, lemon lime twist, azure afternoon, and highland heather. So let's go ahead and get these all opened up. So now we can start our ink blending. And I am using one stencil, I did six. I'm using one stencil for each color because I do not want my blue to bleed into my yellow stencil because then we would have like a muddled green yellow and I don't want that. So I am using one stencil for each color. Let's go ahead and get that up in there. We will ink up our what is it? Bubble bath. I keep wanting to say bubble gum, but it's bubble bath. So we will ink up our bubble bath brush, and I'm just going to figure out where I want that. Now you can, if you want to, you can take some post-it tape and you can help hold this down, but I don't really find that it's all that necessary. I just, you know, grab two ends of it and Hold that down while I ink blend on there. And I am going for a little bit of a shaded look. I am going to put a little bit more ink on the right hand bottom side because I want it to appear that it's got some depth to it. And I think that's probably pretty good. So let's take that off of there, and there you go. We have a perfect bubble bath colored balloon. So let's go ahead and move on to our pumpkin pie. 
And I'm going to place this one down here a little bit. I think that's probably pretty good. And you want to make sure that you get the um, bottom of your balloon parallel with your card panel. We can add that there. Get some orange, some pumpkin pie. And I am going to kind of tap off because the pumpkin pie is fairly dark. And I don't want a real concentrated look here. I want color, but I don't want it to be too dark. And we are just going to continue this in rainbow order. Just like that. And there is our orange. Isn't that going to be pretty? Okay, so let's move on to Lemon Lolly. We're going to put this one up here. I am trying to just make sure I have enough room for all six on my panel. We can go ahead and tape that down and just continue in our rainbow order. I am getting so excited. We are preparing for our trip to Minnesota. I have so much planned for us. Um, I told you before, I was born there. My husband has never been, so this will be his first time. And we are going to need a vacation from our vacation when we get back. We are going to be so busy. Okay. Perfect, there is our lemon lolly. Now we are going to move on to our lemon lime twist. That's a new color, and I'm still getting used to all these new names. I think right there should probably be pretty good. Let's go over just a little bit, just like that. And I will also be doing a giveaway. My embellishments that I used on these two cards are our 21-23 in jewel colors and these are retired but I have an extra pack so I will be doing a giveaway and I will draw a name out of comments on June 25th so make sure that you comment leave me a message what you think of this card um, I'm also looking for ideas for future cards if there is a certain stamp set that you would like to see a sample card made from, please let me know also in the comments. If you have any questions, if you need a catalog, send me an email to handmadehugsbymelissa at gmail.com. But please leave a message so I can send you a free pack of jewels if your name is picked there we go isn't that looking nice so here we're going to move on to our azure afternoon azure afternoon that's another new color so let's bring this one down here probably just like that and this time i'm going to put my tape on this side just to protect what I have already ink blended. Just because this is a very dark color, I'm using a big brush and I don't want to accidentally get color where I don't want it. Just tap off a little bit. There we go. Concentrate some color down there in the bottom right hand corner. Anyways, we are going to be so busy. I got tickets for a Twins game. We are driving my mom to Wisconsin to see family. We're also going to North Dakota for a couple days. We will be seeing my mom and my son. We're really, really looking forward to that. I haven't seen my son in a year and a half, so that will be nice. There we go, there's our blue. And then we will move on to our purple. This is Highland Heather, I believe. Yes, Highland Heather. And I am going to get a new piece. Well, 
I don't think I need a new piece. Let's get a new piece of tape. Just because I don't want to risk getting any color in there where it doesn't belong. So we'll put this one up here, just like that. Cover that up and move on to our Highland Heather. I love ink blending. There we go. And these are nice big balloons. So they take up quite a bit of space on your card panel here. And we're going to concentrate on that bottom right hand corner of the balloon. Make it just a little bit darker. All right, let's look and see what we got. And that's perfect, I love that. That is so colorful. I love anything in a nice rainbow. Okay, so this panel is done. So let's move on to our other panel. And for this panel, again, we're starting at four by five and a quarter. So for this card, I pre-cut all of my balloons. And these are all the same colors of the ink that we just used, except for this one. I didn't use pumpkin pie because I thought it was a little too dark and bright. So I'm actually using a retired color. This is Melon Mambo, I believe. And um, it just seemed to match a little bit better with my uh, pastel palette here. So use what you have. You know, you don't have to go out and buy the exact same colors that I'm using. Use what you have, what colored paper you have. So I want to kind of look at this and we are going to figure out where our balloons will be. And I'm going to place them very similar to the first card, but I wanna add just a little bit of shadow, a little bit of color to my panel. So I am going to bring in my pink I don't even think I need to add any color to the brush. Well, maybe we do. This is a pretty light, this is a pretty light color. But I just wanna put a little bit of highlight in there. So that's where my pink will be. And then my pumpkin pie is going to come down here. And you know, when we add our balloons, they may very well cover this up but there are some areas that will stand out. So I just wanna put a little bit of color behind there. Just to give a little bit more character to our background. So then my green will be over here and that's not a good blend. So it's a good thing that our colored balloon will cover that up and then my blue down here. This is a dark blue. It's pretty bright, so I'm not even going to add any to my brush. And that's the same thing with my uh, Highland Heather. That's pretty dark. Okay, so I think that's probably pretty good. That should be perfect. So we can go ahead and get rid of all of our inks. Actually, you know what? Let's leave out our orange and our purple. What did I do here? I've got orange and purple. What other colors did I use? I might have used the blue. We are going to do some splatters just to add even more character to this. So I've got a rag here. Let's move these aside so we don't get splatters on our balloons. Move our brushes out of the way. And I've got a rag. I always have a microfiber rag handy. I've got that on my lap. I've got a block. And what I'm going to do with my block is I am just going to smush some color on that block. I'm going to bring in my water painters and I'm using the middle one and I'm just going to put a drop of water in there. Mix that all up and then we are just going to, I always do a little bit off to the edge just 
so I can see how it's splattering. And I think that's good. We don't want too much because we will be adding other colors. Then I take my rag, I can wipe off my block, and I can clean my brush, just a couple squeezes of water. As soon as that water runs clear, it's clean, even though the bristles are stained. So now let's do some orange. This is pumpkin pie. Let me wipe that off. So we've got pumpkin pie and we're just going to do the same thing. Put a couple drops of water in there, mix up that color, and then do some splatters. And you can put as many splatters as you want on here. I'm just trying to add a little bit of detail. There we go. Let's wipe this off. And we can do another color. Uh-oh. There we go. Wipe that off. Clean our brush so we don't make a brown color. And then what should we do? Hmm. Looks like I did purple and orange on this sample. Let's uh let's also add some lemon. Lemon Lime Twist. So we'll do some of our Lemon Lime Twist. And we'll see how that looks. Oh yeah, I like that color. The Lemon Lime Twist is very faint, but in person you can see it. There you go. Perfect. All right, let's clean our brush. Don't forget to comment so you can win a pack of those retired jewels. Let's wipe this off. There we go. This was just a block that I got from a uh, one of our all-inclusive kits. And I keep those handy for things just like this. Let's set this aside so it can dry. And then we are going to bring in our colored pieces. I think I put away, I put away all our colors a little too quickly, but I am just going to add some definition to our colored pieces. So I am just, again, concentrating my blending brush on that bottom right hand corner over there and what that's going to do is it's going to look like a shadow on our balloon and I think I want that just a little bit darker and I'm using the same colors of ink there we go and I will just go through the rainbow order There we go. We've got all of our balloons ink blended for a little bit more color definition there. Perfect. So now we can go ahead and we can bring back in our first panel. That's pretty dry. And if you want to, it kind of bothers me sometimes when I get the extra dark line on the edge from ink blending. So you can just put that in your trimmer and take off the tiniest little sliver. This piece isn't that bad, but sometimes you get really dark lines from ink blending on there, but that actually looks pretty nice. 
So now what we're going to do is we are going to figure out where we want our balloons. Sorry about that. My allergies are just bugging me so bad this season. So we're going to figure out how we want to place these. We'll put the green underneath and then we'll put the blue over here and our purple. Let's see, let's put the green up a little more, the blue down here, and then the purple I have like that. So we're going to go ahead and glue down our pink and our green, but the others we are going to pop up on dimensionals. But first, first we need to add our baker's twine for our string. So on my on my sample here, I used the gold that I had in my stash, but I ran out. So we are just going to go ahead and change it to white. And these, again, I've just collected from paper pumpkin kits. And I can't find the end. So let's bring in another one. This one has the end already unraveled. So let's add string to our balloons. And here, I'm just going to do a tiny little loop and I'll just put my balloon end in that tiny little loop. And I'm doing this on the back of the die cut. So then I can lay this down and I'm gonna put the tiniest bit of glue on there along with a little piece of my painter's tape, just so it doesn't go anywhere. That glue will stick to the painter's tape and make sure that it doesn't move. And I'm doing it this way. I'm, I'm adding the glue because the painter's tape is removable and I don't want that to come off. So let's go ahead and do another, just a little loop, flip that over, attach that, and then we'll put a little bit more glue right there. Make sure it's nice and snug. Bring this to the back of your balloon. Add a little bit of glue. Just like that. And then a piece of painter's tape. And that way it will stay in place. And we can cut off a little bit of extra on there. So let me go ahead and I will finish these. Okay, so I've got the twine on all of my balloons and we are going to glue down the green one and the pink one. So let's figure out where we want these. I know I want this one up here and it's going to hang over a little bit. So I am going to be cautious and not put any glue on that other side over there. We're just going to glue this down just like that. Now, how do I have it? I think I have it like that. We'll just glue that one down. Let's put our block on that while we glue down our green one. And the green one, we can put glue all over the entire thing because it's not going to hang over the edge. So then we've got our green. And I think it goes about right there just like that. 
perfect. And it looks like I got my pink just over there. There we go. He was a little crooked. Okay, so now we need some dimensionals. And I am going to go ahead and put dimensionals on the back of our other balloons. Let's start with the orange. So now we can put our orange balloon down and let's kind of look at it and see. I think that's good, probably right there. We'll put our orange balloon down here. Let's go over just a little bit. And then for our yellow balloon, same thing. Okay, so you can see there, I did have to take those dimensionals off of my yellow balloon because I forgot I was going to have that hang over my orange balloon, which is up on dimensionals. So let's go there like that. And then I will go ahead and do the same thing with my blue and purple. Okay, so there for my purple balloon, I made sure to leave this right hand side a little bit free because we are going to trim that off. So that is good, just like that. Let's see, perfect, just like that. And then we can flip this over. We can trim off the excess. And that one is almost done also. This is so quick and easy. So for these, I added three little bows. I've already pre-done my little bows and I've got my sentiments done. But first, let's put our sentiment on there. My strings here are a little bit long or longer than we need. And I did that on purpose just so we could Capture all of these here. Let's just take them all, twist them, and bring them to the back. Let's take them to the back of our card and we will add a piece of tearing tape. I think that'll work. See, we're kind of winging it today. Let's put a piece of tear and tape on there, just like that. We'll leave that on there. Perfect. Then we can trim all this off so there's not too much bulk back there. And then we can add our sentiment, which will help hold all those strings in place. And I'm trying to get this straight. There we go. Perfect. There's that panel, sort of straight. There we go. We can move all these blocks. And then we can work on our other card. Oh, we didn't put our little bows on here. I've got a bow on my pink, one on my yellow, and one on my purple. So just a little dot of glue. My little tails are longer than I need, so we will trim those in a little bit. And on our purple. Perfect. Now let's set that aside to dry for just a minute. So let's go ahead and move on to our other background. And we need to stamp our strings. For my strings, I am bringing in Smoky Slate. And these line up really, really nicely. And if you want to do a sample, you can just, let me see. 
you can just take a scrap piece of paper and just test it just like that and that stamps perfect so we're just going to I need to kind of bring it a little closer to me we're just going to line that up with the bottom of our balloon Perfect. Now we've got our strings on there. We can add this to our card base. Now I am doing a uh, foam panel. Again, this is just fun foam that I got on Amazon. You can get it at your local craft store. I just stuck some tearing tape on there and I am just going to attach this to my panel. Here's our panel. I got all that release paper off of there. We will attach this to our card base. Four and a quarter by five and a half. Let's add our sentiment right there. Hopefully I get this one a little bit straighter than the last one. There we go. And that's done except for our embellishments. So now let's work on this one. I've got to get all this tear and tape off of here. Okay, so I got my uh, foam on here. Looks like I forgot a piece. And I just like to use the uh, the foam sheets when I'm doing something larger like this instead of dimensionals because it's a lot more economical. There we go. Perfect. And it just adds so much more dimension when we have that panel sticking up off of our card base. So let's go ahead and trim our little tails here off of our balloons. They don't need to be too long. Just like that. And then we can add our embellishments. So please, 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 please make sure that you comment so you can be entered to win a pack of our retired 21, 23 in color jewels. And I chose these because the colors just matched so perfect with my um, card here. So we're just going to add some of these all over. Isn't that cute? And this was so, so simple. So now let's add some here on this card. Please comment, please like, please share. I appreciate you spending time with me. But make sure to comment so you can win. You can enter the drawing to win a pack of these. So let's keep going. We'll put a green one over here. And how about a big yellow one? There we go. Let's see, we've got two yellows. We've got one green. Let's put another green down here. And one more. How about a purple? I think we may, oh, we've got two purples now. I think we need one up here. There we go. Perfect. We will call that done. And these came together so quickly. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I will see you next time. Don't forget to let me know what your favorite card is or a set that you may like to see a card made out of. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.